Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. Back up. Back it up. Back up. Back. Back it up. I I I I see this video and I just I don't know what to make of it. I really don't. Welcome back to the Lockout Man Podcast Show. And in this segment of Breaking Truckers, we're looking at this TikToker. She goes by the handle The Real Cash Barbie 2. 6,641 followers. What made this video interesting, this clip interesting, she did a video showing that she had an ankle monitor on. You know, one of them type of monitors that, you know, if you get in trouble, like you're on house arrest or something like that. Yeah, one of those type of monitors. In the comment session, a lot of people is calling Cap. I, I don't know what to say because I don't know the bat story. I don't know. But I know you're going to come back and say, I don't care. I don't give a hoop. I don't give a F of what people think. But I don't feel the need to sit there and have to explain myself to every single person who has a comment about my fucking bracelet in public, on social media, whatever the case may be. You can think whatever you want to think. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got their opinions and everybody is entitled to them. I don't give a fuck. But if you honestly didn't care about what people say, you wouldn't have put it out there. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. That's honey. Story time. Like, a lot of people think that this bracelet is something that it ain't just because of what it looks like. And it's sad. But I don't feel the need to sit there and have to explain myself to every single person who has a comment about my fucking bracelet in public, on social media, whatever the case may be. You can think whatever you want to think. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got their opinions and everybody is entitled to them. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. But everybody think I'm on house arrest. I'm not. <laughs> I am not on house arrest. I'm not on house arrest. I did not go to fuck to jail. I'm not a, a criminal or anything like that. It's just this bracelet is an alcohol monitoring, monitoring bracelet. What you talking about? What you talking about? What you what you, what you talking about, what? Not house arrest. I'm on an alcohol monitoring bracelet in order for me to be able to continue to drive. And the situation with that was, um, I got drunk. Like, there's no, there's no law against drinking alcohol and being a truck driver. But all right, explain this to me like I'm a two-year-old, okay? Because there's an element to this thing. I just cannot get through my thick head. There's no law against drinking alcohol and being a truck driver. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? But there is a law against of having alcohol in your system while being on duty or under a load, I think. Something like that. So, my situation was where... I got drunk one night. I was underneath. I was, I was supposed to deliver the night before. Got drunk. The, I was supposed to deliver the next day. Got drunk the night before. But I stopped drinking at like 3 a.m. Didn't have to deliver until about 3 p.m. the next day. So I had plenty of time. Um, but my company ended up calling me in that next morning around 9, 10 a.m. for a, drug, a random drug alcohol test. Uh, blue still had alcohol in my system and so they considered me having alcohol in my system un while on the clock because I was underneath the load and in order for me to continue to drive I had to fucking either wear this bracelet or you need to do your research you really need to do your research because you don't know nothing about trucking it's 2022 honey anything is fucking possible that's one for sure two why I'm pretty as hell okay I'm pretty as fuck Stop the cap. Cool as hell. I don't get in trouble. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. So why would I willingly walk around with an ankle monitor on my ankle just to get attention? First of all, motherfuckers don't talk to me, period, because they don't know what to say when they see me in public. One. Two, especially at truck stops. Two, I don't got time to be sitting here every morning putting on and taking off a bracelet. Make sure that motherfuckers um can see it. And three, I wear two pairs of long socks every day with no matter what outfit that I have on so that
what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? And I'm on, I'm fairly new, three years in, so you might need to do your research, honey, because I've been wearing this bracelet for about five months, and I had, did not have it before coming to this company. This company hired me, did what, paid for what I needed to get done in order for me to continue to drive and work for them. They are, there are companies out there like that. You just have to find them. I, this company found me. I didn't find them. Stop the cap. <laughs> What do you guys think? What do you guys think of the clips, man? I mean, she had she has several clips that's 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 up for interpretation. That's up for interpretation. The first one where she showed her ankle monitor. The second one where she tried to explain about the ankle monitor. And then the third one where she's got accosted by by another truck driver at the truck stop. This is a lot, again, to unpack and dissect. So let's just take let's just take each one, shall we? Drivers, let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know what your thoughts are, okay? Okay? And 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 tell me if I'm wrong or not. Tell me if I'm wrong or not, right? Am I wrong? Am I right? And that's the same thing that I'm thinking, like, sister girl, how are you driving and you're on house arrest? I mean, I, I thought to myself, I said, hold up. I said, lock out, hold up. I said, maybe she went to court, got permission, told, you know, told the judge that I'm a truck driver, maybe a regional driver, maybe a local driver. Okay. Maybe a local driver. But I found out later in the comments that she works for a mega carrier. And I'm, and I, I, I need, I, I, I need answers, mega carrier. All right, explain this to me like I'm a two-year-old, okay? Because there's an element to this thing. I just cannot get through my thick head. So in the second clip that we saw, she explained what the ankle monitor was. This bracelet is an alcohol monitoring, monitoring bracelet, not house arrest. I'm on an alcohol monitoring bracelet in order for me to be able to continue to drive. She, she says she's not on house arrest or she's not a criminal. She's an alcoholic. She was on a load. She got drunk and went in to take a random, got busted for a negative, and she said the company gave her a choice. In order to drive, you got to put on this ankle monitor. Look, you can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious. I'm scratching my head, guys, because I don't know what carrier does that. I thought if you blew a negative for drugs or alcohol, you're going. That's what I thought. I didn't know that a company would give you a second chance. Let me know. Let me know. 
She says in order to drive, she has to have that ankle monitor on because she blew a negative. Time, um, but my company ended up calling me in that next morning around 9, 10 a.m. for a, drug, a random drug alcohol test. I blew, still had alcohol in my system, and so they considered me having alcohol in my system while on the clock. Now, again, that goes back to these two, to if, you're get, if you get a DUI or DWI, I thought the company say, if you have a DUI, DWI, you can't drive for us. I'm confused. I'm, c I'm confused. I'm confused right now, G. <laughs> I'm confused. You, 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 you. So I am confusion. I'm confused. I need help. I need help. Something wrong with me, nigga. Okay? I need help with this. Somebody help me out with this. Somebody in the comments, drivers, truckers, let me know in the comments below what's... What am I missing here? This young lady is driving with an alcohol bracelet monitor for a trucking company. And I dug deep into the comments to find out that she works for, uh, it's not a mega carrier, but it's, it's, a, it's a large company. And I need to know from the company like, yo, bro, if I blow a negative, for whatever, do I get a second chance too? Because she's cute. Stop the cap. Baby girl, them nails, man. How how are you wearing gloves with them nails? How are you letting down the landing gear with them nails? I want to know how you keep them nails up, man, without breaking them. That's what I need to know. I need to know that. But, but on a serious tip, I... I we need a conversation, baby girl. I, I know you're going to be like, oh, I don't give a who. I don't give a fuck. But I don't feel the need to sit there and have to explain myself to every single person who has a comment about my fucking bracelet in public, on social media, whatever the case may be. You can think whatever you want to think. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got their opinions and everybody is entitled to them. I don't give a fuck. But, but if you didn't care, you wouldn't have posted. The video that you showed your ankle monitor in, if you didn't want that type of attention, you wouldn't have showed the ankle monitor. This like whatever, whatever you had on in the truck stop when you got accosted by the driver. We about to unpack that one. When you got accosted by the driver, ain't no telling what was the conversation beforehand. And I understand, I understand us male drivers. We could be, we could be fucked up. We can, you know, but I don't know about the rejection part. I mean, if you tell me no, get away from you or I'm not interested. Cool. Thank you. Take it easy. But depending on, you know, what you might had on at the time, you, pro it's, let me rephrase that. It's all about presentation. It's about presentation. It's about what you presented at the time when the driver came up to you. Maybe, it, you know, you, you didn't look like a truck driver, which y'all fine females don't look like truck drivers these days. Y'all don't. Y'all fine as fuck. But maybe this driver thought that you was the truck stop HOE for real, for real. In your comments, you got a whole bunch of people calling cap on you. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But drivers, let me know what your thoughts in the comments below. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? I can only go by what I see. I can't do judgments. But I, I, I can only go by what, you, what I see. And I'm, I'm finding it, fellas, I'm finding it hard, hard to believe that a company would give you a second chance if you blew a negative on alcohol. Alcohol. You was drunk the day before you actually had to make a drop. And you drove the truck. That says something right there. I got drunk one night. I was underneath, I was, I was supposed to deliver the night before. I got drunk the, I was supposed to deliver the next day. I got drunk the night before. But I stopped drinking at like 3 a.m. Didn't have to deliver until about 3 p.m. the next day. So I had plenty of time. Um, but my company ended up calling me in that next morning around 9, 10 a.m. for a, drug, a random drug alcohol test. 
uh, blue still had alcohol in my system and so they considered me having alcohol in my system on, while on the clock because I was underneath the load and in order for help me out guys let me know what your thoughts am I right am I wrong baby girl we need a conversation we need a conversation her TikTok Definitely go over there and check out her TikToks, man, because they are interesting. I'll get, I'll, I'll give her that. Her TikToks are interesting. I'll definitely give her that. Go over there, check out her TikToks. Uh, follow her, subscribe to her, all that good stuff. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching this segment of Breaking Truckers Lockout Man Podcast.